Hello, I hope you're having a fantastic time ahead of the Christmas holidays. As the release of the latest set, Ravnica Remastered, draws near, the roster of the sealed product slots has now been revealed and we're taking a look at what's inside of a draft booster. Now before we begin, there are a few important things to note about this suspension. First, this is a remaster set, which means that all the cards in this set are reprints of older cards. Second, it is essential to note that since you draft with these boosters, some cards rarities have been shifted to allow for a better draft experience. Lastly, the main set contains a total of 292 cards, that's 111 commons, 90 uncommons, 71 rares, and 20 mythics. So without further ado, let's see what's inside of a Ravnica Remastered Draft Booster. Each draft booster contains a grand total of 15 playable cards. In the first slot, you'll find 8 to 10 commons. These are going to be the meat and potatoes for building up your 40 card decks whilst drafting or constructing a sealed deck. A traditional foil of any rarity replaces a common in 33% of booster packs or about 1 in 3 boosters and traditional foils can be either normal frame or retro frame. A traditional foil boardless mythic card can be found in less than 1% of boosters that is in less than 1 in 100 packs. In the second slot, you'll find 3 to 4 uncommons. In the third slot, you'll be able to find the mana slot. Now, unlike previous expansions, there are no basic lands in Ravnica Remastered, but the basic land slot is replaced in draft boosters with a mana slot that can contain one of the following. 10 guild gates with a 58% chance or one in every other booster pack. 10 signets with a 33% chance or about one in every three packs. 10 Shock Lands or a Chromatic Lantern with a 9% chance or about 1 in 11 packs. In the 4th slot you'll find one Retro Frame card of any rarity. Retro Frame cards are back again with their beautiful old borders. There are a total of 135 Retro Frame cards in Ravnica Remastered. That's 25 commons, 36 uncommons, 50 rares and 16 mythics. The important distinction from previous remaster sets is that some Retro cards will only be available in collector boosters because some are either too weak, too strong, or champion not well represented strategies in the set for limited. Now on the screen, you'll be able to see the 21 collector exclusive retroframe cards. Also, the pack rack card does not have a normal frame in this expansion, and its retro frame version is only present in collector boosters in foil or non foil, while the borderless anime version is available in both draft and collectors, also in foil and non foil. In this slot, you'll be able to find a retro frame of any rarity. Now, keep in mind that if in any slot you find a retro frame in a specific rarity, then the other rarities will not have a retro frame. You can find retro frame mythics in the slot in about 2.7% of draft boosters or about 1 in 37 boosters. And you can find a traditional foil retro frame mythic in less than 1% of draft boosters or in less than 1 in 100 packs. In the fifth slot, you'll be able to find a rare or mythic amongst the cards available in the main set. In the sixth and final slot, you'll find a token ad card. Wrinkle throughout the pack, you'll have a chance to find any of the following card variants. Now, there are a total of 40 borderless cards in Ravnica Remastered, that is 23 rares and 17 mythic rares. Just like borderless cards beforehand, the art in them is alternate, and it goes top to bottom, side to side, and behind the text box. Ravnica Remastered brings back the borderless anime versions of styles that were published in the Wilds of Eldraine Enchanting Tales. These are 30 borderless cards in an anime anime art style inspired by the War of the Spark history and set. Now, the anime boardless version is the same exact card in the boardless treatment with illustrations made by Japanese artists bringing to life an anime themed treatment for iconic cards of the plane of Ravnica. Furthermore, the 10 color combination of shock lands also come in boardless treatment but these will not be available in draft boosters. Now this brings us to a total of 1 to 2 special frames and art cards per pack. There is a total of 1 to 2 cards of rarity, rare or mythic that can be found per pack. You can get 9 to 11 commons and 3 to 5 uncommons per booster and you can get 1 to 3 traditional foils per pack. Please note that the draft boosters do not contain any of the following special versions for the suspension which can only be found in collector boosters. The 21 special retroframe cards, the 10 boardless shock lands, 
and the serialized retrofring cards. If you'd like to know more about collector booster packs and the cards that they contain, we'll leave a link in the description down below for a guide to them. So this was it for our video. We'll be making more videos to explain all other products in the Ravnica Remaster expansion and stay tuned to our channel where we will unbox one of each type of these products here. For those who celebrate them, we wish you lovely holidays and we hope you've enjoyed this video. Make sure to give a thumbs up and sub to the channel as it helps out small channels like ours a lot. Do let us know what you're you're most excited about in this expansion or if you have any comments or questions in the comments down below as we read and reply to every one of them. Be good, be kind, have a good day and we'll see you in the next one. Bye!